Hello my brothers and sisters. Our meditation today is managing interpersonal conflicts. My friends, is there any time you were very disappointed and angry just because of your extended family's attitude although you were good with them, supported them and helped them? Or is there any time you felt to get rid of the relationship or hated the relationship just because they took advantages always upon your good heart, generous mind and hospitality? Or is there any time your friends' problems and issues really disturbed you, distracted your focus and peace? Our scripture for today comes to us from Galatians chapter 6 verse 2. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Interpersonal relationship can refer to romantic, friendship and family bond but also our professional connections. The question for today is how to manage interpersonal relationship or conflict. Bible helps you to understand in three ways. Number one, Matthew 7, 12, respect others' feelings. My friends, in order to have healthy relationship with your spouse or siblings and work offices, even among your friends, you used to respect and understand their feelings and emotions. Don't least bother about their emotions. Try to understand why their face is unexciting, fearful, disquiet. Just listen to them, talk to them, ask them to explain and describe their situations. When they speak, don't ever interfere to give suggestions or advice. Many of them are looking for someone to listen to them and their mental pain. They may not need money, they may not need position, but they want someone to sit next to them and listen to them. Number two, Proverbs 15, 18. Maintain patience. My friends, in order to have healthy interpersonal relationship or in order to manage interpersonal conflict, it is important to keep peace and be patient. When your spouse or your colleague cries, just do not shout or despise her. Let her cry because only she knows the pain and problems. Only she knows the disappointments and discomfort. Only she knows her lost love and care. Avoid aggressive and abuse attitude. Patience will solve many internal problems. Stand next to that person, shoulder to shoulder. Let your spouse or friend or brother or sister know you are there for them. Many times silence solves sufferings. Number three, Galatians 6 2, empathize. My friends, the third way to manage interpersonal relationship or conflicts is to sympathize. Empathy with another person convey, conveys warmth, validation and caring. It is the foundation of healthy relationship, building upon listening and respecting. Empathy requires that we contribute our own similar experiences through conversation and reinforce values that we share with the other person. When someone views you as empathetic, they are more likely to confide, trust and hold you in esteem. The foundational pillars of the good relationship practice empathy, not sympathy. Sympathy is a feeling, a sadness inspired when we hear someone else's pain and focus on our own similar tragedies. Empathy keeps the focus on the other person attempting to listen and feel her pain, unique from your own. My friends, are you missing anyone today? Or are you regretting for someone's relationship today? Are you praying for a reconciliation with someone today? Here is the hope for you from Proverbs 17, 9. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. Let's pray. 
heavenly God. There is someone who's really discouraged, demotivated, and they don't know what to do. Please come by now and help them, encourage them, motivate them so that they can look their lives forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.